What's up, guys? Star Sniper here doing a video as my game starts to lag a little bit. Uh, wait, let me just uh, see. okay, is that it's 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 it's, it's all right. Anyways, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, we got a slime that's probably gonna kill me. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to peaceful really quickly. Uh, peaceful. There we go. All right. There are those. Anyways. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off a little invention. So what may this invention be? Well, uh, well let's, let's just go over a situation where my, this might be useful. Like, uh, let's say a server you play on, like a hardcore server, multiplayer server. You make this building, and someone sees the chest inside, and they think it's safe after being raped by mobs outside all day, and they need shelter. So let's just say they have a heart, they step in, hit the tripwire, boom, dead. Now I am of course not peaceful, so I'm regenerating health, but that could kill them right there. So, uh, and then there's just little lures in there. Let's go over how this actually works. Well, first off, there is a barely visible trip wire that is quite impossible to see unless you're looking for it. I mean, from here, you can't even see it. Go a bit closer, you can kind of see it, but it really does blend in with the gl gr grass grass blocks, so it's going to be pretty hard to see. And now. Oh, and now, uh, <laughs> sorry, I have a bit of a cold sniffles. Uh, and then I had to, uh, I have some tripwire hooks over there in those little uh, holes, as you can see right there. You know, let me just break this really quick so I stop getting shot. And as you can see, I mean, if you're walking in, you're not going to notice those holes on the right. You can't see them. I mean, my screen right now, you can't see them unless you're looking for them. So that also makes it quite hard to notice. Now, uh, let's, let me let, let me see if I can show you where all this leads. Uh, this one. Uh, wait. Let me just go to uh, game. Damn it. Game mode one. Ooh, all right. Creative mode. This one leads to nothing, as you can see. So let me just fill that back up because uh, trip wires they send signals through both. So I could have probably done something with that. But this one does lead to stuff right here, as you can see. So when this is activated, it sends a redstone signal through here, over there, then it comes back up over here. And now what happens here is quite complex. So I have some repeaters set to uh, delay the reaction. So this one happens a bit later. So it's, it's kind of hard to say, but I have that. So it happens a split second later, 0.1 seconds. I actually have this repeater right here. And then after that, the time is all equal because there's a 0.4 repeater right there, and there's a 0.4 repeater right there. And by 0.4, I of course mean uh, it takes 0.4 seconds for the signal to be transferred. I have an inverter right here. So the pistons are on, thus making the illusion of that there is a wall. So well, let me show you the pistons. They're actually right here. And I had them uh, alternate from side to side because I can't have redstone right next to each other. Because with pistons, it's weird. But this is uh, kind of how I did it. Let's see if I could... Uh, break some blocks to show you uh, it's kind of hard to see but pretty much it's just this going on to every alternating piston and then the ones that aren't activated on that side become activated on this side and right now they're in an on position so when the inverter gets a signal it goes off thus making it the, the piston come down and then a split second after that happens the signal is also split over here happens literally a split second 0.4 seconds after goes here and goes to a bunch of dispensers and now let me just uh, get some torches to light this place up since it's kind of hard to see put the sand somewhere else uh, let's see can you uh, all right you should be able to see plenty and because of the same thing like i said uh, you can't have redstone right next to each other because i need it to be a straight line like that but if i were to like put redstone when placed in a circle as you can see it connects like that and doesn't go in a straight line but once i break those two boom straight line so it's not exactly possible to have just a bunch of redstone going like that. So I had to do a little trick. I tried some stuff and this is the one I came up with where uh, most redstone currents can be received on two layers so called. There's a bottom layer kind of where the redstone, redstone actually leads to the machine. And then there's the top layer where the redstone is kind of leading to the top of the machine. So I just alternated that to make the dispensers work which are filled with arrows which are starting to run out. So then, uh, let's see if I could just uh, make a false kind of false signal come through. So I just say, boom, that happens. As you can see, that turns off, that goes on. And as you heard, the air hopefully you heard because the 
Uh, my screen feels stupid, so you may not have heard, but the arrows are indeed shot because now there's 20, only 20 left, and there was just actually there was just 22, and now there's 21, showing that they were just shot. So uh, yeah, I don't. It doesn't need much of a delay, and then when the signal stops, the pistons go back to the on position. So it was it's kind of a fairly simple machine. It took a bit for me to think of. But uh, it's a little redstone contraption I made with tripwire. Uh, hopefully I can be more advanced in the future because that is that was actually pretty fun. Just to cover this up. And then the only reason uh, I made it, I'm, uh, it looks like there might be redstone wiring on the right side. It's to make it look symmetrical so it doesn't look as suspicious because uh, uh, this is on a, a super flat world so there's not much space downwards to put all the redstone wiring. That's one reason I don't do that, and I don't feel like building a whole nother layer, which would take quite longer than this. But uh, one good way to hide it is actually aesthetics. So I made it look kind of like a big building. You could add some more, uh, uh, you could put some more, like make statues on there, make it look like a cooler roof, etc., etc. But overall, aesthetics and underground are the two ways to go, but I didn't have underground. And then I, I made it look not suspicious. Like you don't think there's arrows about to be shot off, but. Oh, let me put some string back in my inventory to put it like that. So then, as you just saw the redstone wiring, let's say this is the redstone torch once it's on, boom, goes down, shoots a split second later. So that's all redstone wiring right there. And then to make it look not suspicious, I put torches right there. So uh, yeah, I guess it's that's one way to do it. And then it's 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 a good way. It's a good way. I like it. Uh, I should be able to do more stuff. I'm working on a little project over there. It should be kind of cool, so you guys should wait for that. Maybe it's, it'll be the next Redstone Corner video. But uh, yeah, that, that's this video for now. It is, uh, I'm going to call it uh, Secret Dispensers uh, or uh, Arrow Trap, Indiana Jones Trap, I don't know. Arrow Trap, yeah. So when you just walk over there, boom, get shot. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, should be, oh yeah, and then if arrows get stuck on it, uh, arrows act as an entity, so we might have to clean that up. And you could probably make better designs. This is kind of just rough draft, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that redstone corner video. Uh, should be fairly easy to redo, as you just saw most of the wiring. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, as always. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, 